Hello friends. So in this particular slide, we are going to study about power interest grid or power interest matrix. So this is what is called. It is called a power grid, power interest grid matrix. So we have four quadrants. You can see on the x axis we have interest level of the stakeholders, and on the y axis we have power of the stakeholders. Power as in how much they can influence a project, how much they are powerful, how much they are influential, how much they have stake, and depending upon their stake. And their interest they can be as high and they can be as low so there are four quadrants in which we can define different stakeholders engagement level power level and the interest level so on the top left we have keep satisfied who are very powerful who are very influential but they do not have that much of interest their interest is at a lower side so what we'll do is we'll keep satisfied them just because they are very powerful we'll just satisfy them that yes the project is going in a right direction with a right set of attitude with a right set of people and technology and we are meeting the deadlines slas everything and we'll be able to deliver the project satisfied successfully and that's how we'll have to keep these stakeholders who are high with high power and low interest satisfied but we'll have to just engage them and consult them in case of anything where their power is needed right but our intent is to increase their interest level and move them to the top right in the manage closely section which is a key player and they are very stake they are very high profile stakeholders with a with a power with high influence and a high interest just because they are very, they are very influential they are very powerful they have a high interest in the project they need to be very managed very closely they need to give they need to be aware of each and every details of the project because they have a huge stake in the project and that is why they are they need to be managed closely they need to be satisfied at each and every stages and gates of the project they are key players they will be supportive all throughout the project they will be leading your project they are not falling into the engagement level of cat categories like resistant neutral they are very much engaged they are very much influential so we need to engage them regularly by giving them regular updates by giving them regular communication updates that's how we are going to manage them closely the third quadrant which is low and low that is stakeholders who are having low power low influence on the project and they have low interest as well so we'll just monitor them because they are the least important people i wouldn't say very least important but they are important but we'll have to just manage them they do not need to be satisfied or they need do not need to be managed very closely we just need to keep an aim that if possible we can move few of the stakeholders from low low category to low high category so that they become potential players and supporters rather than being neutral or resistant they should be keep informed that they should be bring into potential players and supporters category which is the fourth and the last quadrant with a high power of power and influence and with a low power and influence and high interest so keep informed thank you